guys welcome back to my channel i'm daniela your independent sensi consultant and today i have melting monday if you don't know melting monday is when i share everything that i have warmed from saturday through friday and it's everything that i've warmed in the house and also at school if you don't know i'm a teacher i teach kindergarten um and what else i also rate my bars so a one is no thank you not for me i won't even warm it so none of these are ones because i've warmed all these a two is I'll warm it and see um, if I like it or not. A three is I like it and I would repurchase it probably in clearance. It's nothing special. A four is I really love it and I would repurchase it full price. And a five is I have put it in my club or will put it in my club. Um, something that I love so much that like I don't want to lose and I want to make sure that I can get more of it. So, um, that is what I have today and um, I'm wearing my. 98 degrees shirt because I went to a 98 degrees concert and it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm a millennial through and through and love boy bands. My first concert was O-Town. Um, O-Town's my favorite boy band. Uh, I watched Making the Band, the original Making the Band that O-Town was formed from and um, just love them. So I'm actually going to a concert next month. That's a Nick Carter concert, but... O-Town's opening for them. Usually they have their own shows, but they didn't have any local to me this year, um, which was a bummer, but we're, me and my neighbor sister are going to the Nick Carter concert so that we can see O-Town. Um, anyways, and yeah, that's why I'm wearing this because I'm a millennial <laughs> and I love boy bands. So anyways, let's get started. Um, been a it's been a long week we had um a field trip this week which was really fun but also field trips are exhausting even when you have a ton of chaperones I had eight chaperones which is a ton um and 22 of my kids were there so it was like groups of three and two of my groups are just groups of two and it's still so exhausting because you're trying to like make sure that you don't lose any kids and like it's more like emotionally exhausting. You're trying to like check all the boxes, make sure you have everything, make sure, you know, everybody has what they need and everyone gets back safely. Um, but it was great. We had a lot of fun. They got to pick out pumpkins, which is always fun. And we, it was a short field trip and it was not far from our school, which is nice because we, it's a shorter bus ride. So like nobody had to go to the bathroom and nothing like that. Um, and it's just like a local place, which is nice. So it was only like a two hour field trip. So it was great. Had a lot of fun. Um, but it definitely is always a stressful day <laughs> when there's a field trip with five year olds. So, um, what else? I don't know. It was just a, just a, a, a long week. There was just a lot going on, you know, finishing, testing. We have conferences this week. So, doing all of the prep for that and yeah just all those things so and it was my mom's birthday also so there was that as well okay let's just get started on the scents so um first one this is strawberry bliss and I warmed this in my classroom this was from the Easter collection the Easter collection from this year and it is my favorite strawberry scent it it's a five. It's in my club. I love this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, and the scent notes are, if you can find them, strawberry puree, jasmine, and fizzy champagne. It just smells really good. I don't know how to describe it. You definitely get the champagne scent to it. It's just a great one. I love that one. Um, next up is Shamrock Splash, and I warmed this in my bathroom. And this was a scent of the month for, I think, February. Let me check. Um, yeah, February of this year. So um, it is, the scent notes for this one are Juicy Tangerine, Red Strawberry, and Jasmine Blossom. And I like this one. It's not my favorite. It does lean a little like soapy to me. Um, 
which is why I put it in the bathroom instead of like a bigger, larger room. It just leans a little bit more like body care soapy type sit. Um, so this one is probably more like a three to me. I do like it, but I don't know that I would repurchase at full price. Next up is a five. It's Forever Flannel. And if you know me at all, I say this every time I talk about the scent. It's my favorite scent. Um, this is the scent that I tell people like you have got to smell things and warm things in order to know if you like it or not because this has lavender, bergamot, and sandalwood in it. I know some that's for it because I, this is my favorite. And I hate lavender. Bergamot's hit or miss for me. And I think I like sandalwood because most things that have sandalwood in it, I do like. Um, but I was like, I'm not going to like that. Like it's got lavender in it and I hate lavender. This is my favorite scent like of all time. I love this scent. This scent is so cozy. It also lasts a really long time. I feel like, um, this one. Yeah. Oh gosh. It's so good. I just, I don't know what it is about it. Cause I don't like lavender, like, like lavender, uh, what is it? Providence? Lavender Providence, I think is it? Um, was the scent of the month a couple of months ago. And oh, no, no. It's just straight lavender and I can't stand it. This, I love it. Like, I love it. And I did put it in my club, thankfully. Um, but I put it in my club because I wanted to try it. I didn't want a full brick of it. It came in the holiday bricks last year. And I didn't want a full brick of it because I was like, I hate lavender. I don't want a full brick of something that I don't like. So I put it in my club. And then when it came, I loved it. And you couldn't get the bricks anymore. And I couldn't add any more bars to my club. So that was unfortunate. So I only have one bar and it's every three months that I get it. So I'm trying to use it sparingly. I use less cubes than um, I typically will in my warmers and just trying to use it sparingly but that's definitely my favorite scent so especially like cozy scent um i usually if i don't have this on hand and i want something similar to it i use a uh, fluffy fleece which is also a scent i love but this is my fave so moral of the story try things out before you judge <laughs> Next one is Apple Crush. And this was a bring back my bar, I believe, from July, I think. Oh, there it is. I was like, do I not have it? It's green apple and sweet apple blossom. And yeah, it was bring back my bar in July. This one's good. Like, it just smells like an apple scent. Like a green, more like a green apple. Um. I, I do like it. I like Johnny Appleseed better, um, but this is one that I would repurchase it uh, probably on clearance. I probably wouldn't pay full price for it because I love Johnny Appleseed, but it is a good one. So um, it's probably a three for me. Oh, and this was in, I didn't say this, sorry. Forever Flannel was in my bedroom. It's always in my bedroom. Um, Apple Crush was in... I have to think. <laughs> Apple Crush was in the I think in the bathroom. The half bath. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um next up is Disney's Totally Mini. And it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And this one was in the media room. And it's going to take me a minute to find it because I can never find the Disney scents quickly. There it is. Pink Melon Hibiscus Blossom, or sorry, Blooms, and Juicy Apple. It's good. It's fine. It's nothing special. I would say it's a three for me. I will warm it for sure. I would probably repurchase it if it was on clearance, but nothing too special. So, um, was that where that was? No, this was in the dining room. Sorry, this was in the dining room. Raspberry hibiscus tea was in the media room. And this one, this one always surprises me. Like I forget about it. And then when I warm up, I'm like, oh, this is really good. So it's probably a four for me. I would repurchase it. I did repurchase it this year that um, I had it last year, but I did repurchase it this year. 
It is wild raspberry, hibiscus petals, and elderberry sugar. And it's just like good. And I, normally I don't like tea scents because I don't, I don't really like the scent of tea, like that leafy, like herbly scent. But this is really good. I like it. It's probably a four for me. Next up is a pink pineapple and sugar. And this was in the bathroom. Was Apple Crush in the bathroom? No, this was in the bathroom. No. This was in the kitchen. I can't do math. This was in the kitchen. Apple Crush was in the bathroom. Okay, let's backtrack a bit here. Sorry. I just forget where I put things. Apple Crush was in the half bath. Totally mini was in the dining room. Raspberry hibiscus tea was in the media room. Pink pineapple and sugar was in the kitchen. That is correct. Okay. That's where these things were. Um, this one's good. This was from the summer collection this past year. And it is pink pineapple, fresh papaya, and crystallized sugar. I do like this one a lot. I would say it's a yay four. I would definitely repurchase it um, when it comes back out. Next is Silver Bells. And this I warmed in my bathroom. And it is... Mint candy canes, winter pear, caramel, and sh vanilla sugar. It's good. It's it's like a fresh scent to me. So I like to warm this in the bathroom. Um, it doesn't come across candy or anything like that to me. It comes across more like fresh. So this is a four for me. I do like it a lot. Next is whipped vanilla pear. And this was in the living room. This was from the Bring Back My Bars in J January, and this was the one that surprised me the most from that collection. Um, why can I not find it? There it is. Caramel glaze, baked pear, and whipped vanilla. So this one, every time I put it in a warmer, I'm like, yeah, it smells good. I like it. But then I like forget that I put it in there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? It smells so good. It's always this. It's really good. I don't know what it is about it. I just love this one. So this one is a five. It is in my club. I love it. And the last one that I warmed was also in my bedroom. It is cashmere and corduroy. And this, I was in a cozy mood apparently because these were cozy, cozy scents. Um, cashmere and corduroy is a scent that I always forget about, but I love it. So, um, it's interesting. I would say it's a four. It's not something I need in my club, but it's vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Again, with the bergamot and sandalwood. That's probably why I like it. It's very similar to um, Forever Flannel, except for it doesn't. It has vanilla instead of the um, lavender. But it also, like, I don't know what the difference between Sicilian bergamot and regular bergamot is. It just smells so cozy and, like, I love that. I don't know. I just feel cozy with this one. So this one is probably a four for me. I really love it. So anyways, that is everything from the week. And let me know down below what have you been warming and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.